Hi guys, Ree here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. And an undecorate with me and get organized after Christmas for the new year kind of vlog. It is the 2nd of January and as much as we've enjoyed Christmas, I am ready to get all the decorations gone and the house clean and sorted. We have got not one, not two, but three trees to take down this year. We've got the one in the living room along with all of Bella's birthday cards and things. I need to put away the advent house, take down the tree in the dining room, take down the tree and all the decorations in the playroom too as well as the wreaths all that kind of stuff I have over the last week or so since Christmas been gathering together Christmas bedding Christmas towels things like that taking them off beds and washing them they are all in a massive pile in my bedroom Christmas jumpers and things as well so they can all go away clean ready for Christmas well, later this year, I guess. How mad is that? So as much as I've been procrastinating this and I do not want to do it at all, it's gonna feel amazing when the house is all clean and clear. So let's go. So as well as all of this stuff, which is gathered ready to, to go up the attic, this morning I brought down from the attic all of the Christmas decoration storage boxes, which I had hidden at the attic. I don't always keep the packaging of boxes, um, but those are for a specific set of decorations to keep them sort of nice and tidy. And all this has come down from the attic too. So I guess the very first job needs to be taking all this lot downstairs so that we've got somewhere to put our decorations. You ready to help? Yeah. <laughs> I bought these bauble boxes, which have been really great for storing uh, Christmas ornaments so that they don't get damaged in transit, haven't done the lot. We've got quite a few new ones this year, ones from our trips and things that are quite delicate. So they are gonna have to be wrapped up carefully to put into these boxes. We normally use a wrapping paper in it to wrap the lights so they store nicely. Can't remember if I got one of those to hand or if I threw it out, I need to find one of those. But for now, let's just get some of these ornaments. We'll start with this tree. I feel like if we can get the living room tackled, we're on to a winner.
space for these especially delicate and precious Christmas ornaments. This is uh, one that we bought in our last Disneyland Paris trip. Um, this one was from our first ever Disney cruise. These are quite precious and just weren't gonna fit in the other thing. So what I'm gonna do, these Christmas bags that are going away. So what I'm gonna do, these Christmas bags that are going away, and this is actually how we transported the Christmas ornaments home from our trip. I'm going to put these, because I've run out of wrapping as well, I'm gonna wrap them up in Christmas t-shirts and hats and things and put them stuffed inside the bags and then put the bags inside a box and hopefully they'll stay nice and tidy. So now time to take the lights off the tree. I have found these um, innards of wrapping paper which I've chopped in half and just put little slits down because that way you can tuck one end of the lights in there, wrap it round and round and they should stay nice and tidy and non-tangled for when we get them out for next Christmas. The lights are off. I've separated out the presents. There's still one or two from people we haven't seen over Christmas. The presents, I've got the lights up, you need to remove the batteries. But the next job is dismantling the tree. Now for many years, I used to cram it back into the same cardboard box that was falling to bits. We eventually recycled that. And now I use these zip up bags. Um, these and everything else that I'm mentioning, like the bubble bag, things like that, are all linked in a blog post below if you're looking for anything in particular. Right guys, let's get all of these tree branches smushed down as small as we can and popped into this bag. just a little preliminary vacuum obviously I'm gonna need to do a lot more of that when it's all finished but I feel like there is so much glitter and just muck that comes off trees and things when we're putting them away it'll be walked through the rest of the house if I don't do a little bit as I go so I'm um, at that stage where I'm not it's not that I'm wondering why I started because obviously I had to do it it had to be done but I am definitely wishing it was over already because it's like ugh, look at the rest of the place Anyway, we are getting there. That's one tree down, two trees undecorated and ready to come down. Just gonna keep plodding and just keep reminding myself how nice it's gonna be when it's done. Cause right now I'm like, send help. <laughs>
Now on to this tree. So this tree I bought just for this Christmas. This is the first pre-lit tree we had. Now, originally when we put it up, because it was warmer lighting, not the whiter lights, I didn't like it. And then I grew to really like it. I think it was far enough away from the other trees that it didn't really matter. It is a little bit sparse, but it did mean you could really see the decorations we put on it. So it wasn't an expensive tree, but it's done its purpose. It served its purpose. We're now gonna see how easily it comes apart and goes away because First experience with a pre-lit tree. First experience taking one down as well. decorations I believe are now sort of boxed up and have been taken upstairs. Now upstairs is a right old mess I'm gonna have to deal with but for now I'm going to clean which is something I've really needed to do with all the stuff out of the way for a bit. So I'm gonna give the playroom a good old clean so the children can play in here then I will tackle the dining room and the lounge before I even think about dealing with all the stuff upstairs. that I can sit down. I have managed to get pretty much everything upstairs and that is progress. Downstairs is not looking too hideous now. I've now got to organise this massive pile behind me into either boxes or vacuum bags and then once I've done that and my husband's finished work all of the stuff can go up the attic and out of the way and that'll be Christmas gone on our house back to some level of clear normality.
we're just about there. I do have to get my husband, since he's finished working, to help me put all of the stuff I've piled upstairs into the loft, but the rest of it is just about done. What a flipping really. These big jobs are always really daunting to start. Halfway through I'm always like, why? I just want it done now, but it is really satisfying when it's all clean and clear. So I am looking forward to enjoying the house um, over the next few days before the children go back to school. So I just wanted to have a really quick catch up with you guys. And first of all, say thank you so much for all of your support in 2022. It means so much both here and over on my Disney channel. What have I got coming up for you in 2023? Well, quite a lot, quite a lot. So the plan is generally to still stick to two videos a week on my main channel. So that's Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Some YouTube tools I use suggest that I might want to move my upload time to five or 6 p.m. So I don't know what your thoughts on that would be, whether you watch the videos when they're released or a bit later so whether that would make any difference to you at all do let me know in the comments if that would um, my disney channel videos have generally been going out sunday at 8 a.m i think that works out well for most people because um a lot of the disney channel videos especially i think people watch with their families whereas perhaps my main channel stuff's perhaps more watched oh, i'm hungry my stomach's rumbling um, my main channel stuff's more sort of tends to be watched on mobile devices also my analytics say so let me know if that's true for you because according to the youtube analytics my disney channel videos are most watched on tvs whereas my main channel videos are more watched on like mobile devices like phones and ipads and stuff like that so i guess viewing habits are going to be different for different channels so um this year on my disney channel we obviously we've got more like disney trips and vlogs and things coming up over there as well as lots of tips videos um i have got to make a video specifically about the disability system for paris so all that's coming let me know in the comments if there's any specific disney stuff that you want to see over there um but then the main channel which is obviously why you're here because you watch my main channel um on my main channel um i've got lots of planning organizing vlogs speed cleans and let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. Now, by the time you see this, my planner, the digital version at least, is available to buy. The digital version at least is available to buy right now. I just haven't sort of shouted about it on YouTube yet because at the time of filming, it's available to buy, but I haven't done all the like instructional upload bits. So hopefully all that extra stuff is done by the time this goes out. Um, I will let you know on the like page or whatever if there's extra stuff, but certainly even if you purchase it, before it's ready then you can like all the rest of the extra bits will be available to you as soon as they're ready so um the digital version obviously if you just want to like buy it and print it or you buy it yeah and know how to import it into a note self already then you know it's there for you but i just feel that perhaps it needs some extra instructions for that kind of thing my stomach is really making loud noises <laughs> um and my battery light is flashing so it's gonna be really quick um basically um the Printed planner is on its way, it's got some formatting issues and um, it'll be with you very soon. But thank you so much for everyone that has been messaging about it. And I'm going to go now and say bye because my battery's about to die. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for all the support. Love you all. Bye.